Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. It's spring and pruning is done. I was a little bit late, but it's still done. I managed to cut a big limb off my apple tree and I thought, well, I want some apple wood for wood turning. Now, apple is notoriously wild when it sh shrinks. It tends to warp and crack quite drastically. So I decided to make him probably, well, I don't know what I'm going to make out of him. I will appreciate your ideas. But I just for now, I'm going to take each one of these, turn a tenon on one end, mount it, draw, drill it out, turn a tenon on that end also, drill, reverse it so that I can drill out the other way, so that I have these to where the pith is gone. I don't have to worry about that. I'm hoping that the outside will now shrink and, and do me a good job of giving me some apple pieces. Now, I have 15 of these in different sizes from different parts of the limb, from the very small to the very big. And uh, I do have two control uh, limbs. I will put all of these and one of these in a plastic bag with shavings for at least two or three months. And then I'll take them out and let them dry the rest of the way. I'm not going to put any other coating on them. This one I'll leave out. Uh, so that'll be, we'll see how these do. So I'm looking forward to turning these into various projects, but since I have 15 of them, I need more ideas. So what would you do with these cord apples once they're dry? I appreciate your comments. Let me hear them. To begin, I used a bandsaw to cut the apple limb into usable chunks of a variety of lengths. Now I've mounted a large diameter chunk between my centers on my lathe. I want to preserve the bark, at least for now. After they are dry, I may change my mind on some or all. So for now, I do not want to cut off all the bark, but only enough to cut a tenon on the end. A spindle gouge serves to trim the end of the wood. Using the dividers, I mark the size for the tenon. Finally, my skew cuts a nice dovetail tenon. With the tenon formed, I can swap the drive center for my chuck. Since the wood is green, I give the chuck key an extra twist for security. I bring up the live center for safety so I can trim the end square with the spindle gouge. While I could wait for a bit later, I cut, I'll cut the tenon on this now with the spindle gouge and my skew. This green wood peels nicely. It will get harder later when it's dry. I'm drilling out the center with my largest Forstner bit, which should leave a good wall thickness. The bit is dull and drilling is a slow go, with plenty of steam and smoke. I drilled as far as I could. The bit is larger than my drill chuck, so I can go deeper than otherwise. Still, it is not completely through. Now I am swapping the wood end for end, again to finish drilling from the other end. Finally, for now, I'm putting each in a plastic bag with shavings from the apple limb. I'll keep them in plastic for two months. Then take them out, weigh them, and record the weights. When they stop losing weight, they'll be ready for finishing. But for now, 14 more. I could show them all, but really, they only get smaller and I use a smaller drill bit. I'll finish them when dry. I have several ideas to try out, but not 15 alternatives. So, send me your ideas now so that when they are dry, I can finish them in different ways. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends, and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield anytime the lathe is running. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns.